Okay. Welcome to another uh, little video about Euro Truck Simulator 2 here. Um, we're looking at the world map right now. If you haven't noticed, one of the things I've installed since the last video I did was I've installed the TSM 3.5 map. It expands the map quite a bit. Uh, it opens up Spain and Portugal, Turkey and Greece, I think, uh, and uh, even parts of Northern Africa. So I've actually been on a trip right now. Um, where did we start? We started all the way in Kiel. This is one of my longest trips. It was a 44-hour trip. We're not quite there yet, but uh, where are we? We are right here in Italy, so we're just about to get on a ferry, I think, and cross over to our final destination. Hopefully, we're not too far away. Um, we slept. Have we slept yet? No, we have not slept yet. Okay, so we are sitting here at the rest stop. It is late. We have to sleep, so we're going to go do that. Uh, you can see I've added the... Uh, wheel cam so we'll see how how that turns out all right much better morning and we have a few more hours to go before we can get out of here i think we're still on time i'm pretty sure good over there So I actually thought that um, I wasn't going to try a map pack like this for a while because the the core game is quite large and I had only explored I think about maybe a quarter of the map if that but I thought why not let's give it a try um, it, it does every once in a while cause a bit of a problem where I can't seem to load the game again but the problem seems to be limited to autosaves so, uh, if you see my head swinging around every once in a while, it's because I'm looking at my other monitor. Which, when you have face tracking turned on, can be a bit problematic. Uh, the good thing about this trip, I believe, it's a very uh, pricey trip. It's going to net me quite a bit of money. Which means that I should be able to uh, purchase my next truck after this trip. But one thing I meant to do, I meant to raise the volume a little bit. I have it all the way up there. So that it should put me at that 150,000 euro, which was my goal. So hopefully that will get us a shiny new truck, which means I'll be able to hire a second person, a second driver for my garage. Uh, and keep making money in this trucking enterprise we have going on here. I actually haven't checked in on the other driver in a little while. I've made a few trips since the last video. I should probably take a look and see if that guy is uh, still producing. He was mildly profitable. That's about it. Nothing like me. I'm a money-making machine. Uh, going at a pretty good clip here. The Italian land countryside. They've also added a lot of new signs, like this merge sign here. Can we make it past this guy? Oh, it's gonna be close. This is probably a bad idea in real life. I would not recommend doing that. Uh, Alright, we're good. We're good. Nice straight roads here in Italy. Oh, and look at a little village. Point. Let's have a little look. Oh, thank you, Rumble Strips, to remind me that I should look forward, not to the side. Set the cruise control at 141. Mm, speed limit's 90. Ha! -ha. I have not seen any uh, radar traps around here. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, we're good. Oh, that could be it. Oh, fuck, that's a speed camera. Yep. That's a speed camera. Oh, that's not a good idea. Hmm. 
Uh, we gotta turn anyways. It's too bad I was enjoying going that fast. But really, I mean, honestly, avoid it. Probably a pretty good collision there. I still have to get my truck fixed from the last time. It has a little bit of damage. A little bit. These turns are bad, 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 bad if you're going too fast. <clears throat> Another toll road ahead. They've also added uh, quite a few new signs, billboards, uh, little welcome to county so-and-so, province, state, whatever. Um, so not only is it a larger map, but it's actually... There's some other improvements as well. A bit buggy, but to be honest, for a, f a free mod, one of the nice things about your truck simulator is its modability. For a free mod, I'm quite impressed because we don't need lights anymore. Because let's be honest, all these signs, you know, littering the countryside, probably fairly realistic. I would think. Uh, am I turning left back there? I am. Oh, look at that, a Scania truck dealer. That's what we're looking for. You're turning green for me, thank you very much. See the ferry port over there. That's cool. We got. We're good. I think we're good. So, uh, city driving with these things is a lot of shifting, which is actually one of the uh, cases where I quite enjoy having these pedal shifters on the wheel instead of an actual stick shift. So it is a lot easier, uh, especially because most of the stick shifts that are out there are six gears. So some of my pals who play this game, like Rebel Forged or, or Jammin', they have to push down another button to get into gear seven through twelve. Well, that's pretty cool. Look at that. This is all custom stuff. Color me impressed. Tugboats and everything. That's awesome. Very cool. Now let's see how this works here. Oh, oh, let's not hit the gate. Let's also not stop in the middle of the street. That's also not good. Ah, uh, looks like we just park ourselves over there. And then we hit a button. Possible travel destinations. We want to go... Shoot, I don't even know. Where do we want to go? I think it's the first one. I believe this is where we want to go. 800 euro. Alright. Let's do it. And we arrive at night. Okay. With the engine running in the parking lot. Cool. So we're good here. So now, I think we're in Greece. Yeah, that looks like a Greek name. We, we go out of here? No. That, uh, that seems like a pretty tiny gate. 
for us to go through with this big trailer. Uh, another truck dealer discovered. That's good, but I'd rather see where we're going. Okay. Definitely Greek lettering on that sign. Uh, now we're only two and a half hours away. That's good. We're getting very close. So, like a little bay. It's hard to tell. It's all dark out, but... Looks like this may be a little bridge instead of a small town. turn up here, or so it would seem. And there are vehicles coming from over there. I have a really hard time turning the high beams off because it's just so much easier to see things with them on. But uh, I'm also on this kick where I want to try to do this right, and I suppose in real life you would not have your high beams on right behind uh, small little passenger vehicles. Part of me is tempted to sleep here just so it's morning again, but that would be just a waste of time because time is money in this business. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're still good on gas. Yes, we are. Holy hell, that's a tight turn. We're literally driving through rural Greece here. Old, quiet little port town. This looks like it's a bigger complex back there now. Uh, I always think that that's close, but oh, that's pretty close. That is pretty close. You gotta move the right, because I did not hit you. Oh, you have your your flashes on. Okay, I was telling somebody this. You can move vehicles without getting in trouble if you're gentle. If you're very, very gentle. See? You can move them. And you won't get in trouble. Because I don't know what else to do. He, like, he'll just sit there now. For the rest of the game. And I don't have time to wait for you. So I'll just pass you on the right. We've got traffic coming from that side. Let's go. See, that's how you can move vehicles without getting a ticket or taking any damage. It's just the key is to just do it slowly. Very gently. Sometimes you just get stuck. Oh man, more rural roads. Jesus. Oh, buddy! I don't believe in stopping either, huh? They don't have highways here. This looks like it's a highway. It looks like we're not going on it. Countryside driving in Greece. Oh, big bump. Is he turning? No, we got two lanes here now. At least their highways are actually quite well lit here. Mm. 
there's no barriers on the side, which is a good thing if you're so inclined to veer off a little bit. Keep going straight. Looks like a nice hotel and stuff on the right. Big gas station. Yada, yada, yada. Speed limit of 30, which we are way above. And another toll. This better be a big paycheck at the end of this trip. I've had to pay for a lot of things. Tickets, tolls, ferries, hotels, gas. expensive as we go. A little scratch of the nose. Also looks like a look out the window. Oh, we're chugging along here. Oh my god, you see those roads on the GPS down there? Those look like serpentines. Serpentines? Serpentines? Carbine? Carbine? Don't know. They look like really windy roads. Yeah, I am not a big fan of really windy roads in these trucks. It's with my transmission. It's never made those sounds before. So everybody seems to be taking these turns with quite a bit of speed, but it's just dark. I don't know exactly how tight these are. That's not too bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. that's quite the car up here, jeez. The hell, man, what is this? Feels weird. Let's just turn the high beams on. Sorry, other cars, but I need to see what's going on here. Uh, I think that name on the left there, Yo, -yi, what is it? Yo, -yi and Anina, or something. That's where we're headed. I suppose that means we are no more good in this lane. Finally done with that. Happy to be out of those. Oh shit, no oh, shit, that's bad. <laughs> ah! Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, here I am trying to be all nice and signaling and shit. Turn my lights off. That's not good. Oh jeez. Oh man, I got lucky a couple times on this trip. I'm a disaster averted. Uh, we need to get into this lane now though.
Whew, are we there yet? Are we there yet? I don't know how much more of this I can take. Pretty moon. Bet you this is such a beautiful place to be in the daytime. Not when I can't see anything. that sound? Oh my god, uh, something's going on with my truck. This whole trip may have been a bad idea. Are we turning it to the light or are we turning here? Uh, I think we're turning here. Alrighty. Nope, we're not turning here. We're just checking in for a quick visit. Just checking those uh, turning wheels. I know I don't make sense. Just wanted to see more of this beautiful town. Oh shit, I can't see that far to the right. Alright. Yeah, still turning left, just on this light. Only blocked a small portion of the street. You're turning left, buddy? Are you? I'll believe you. Yes, if I had just looked at the GPS properly, I would have known that this is our destination. And it looks like a tiny lot. Uh, where do we go with this? Where is our drop-off point? Oh, dear. Please tell me it's through here. Yes, it is. Actually, that looks like it may not be too bad. No, thank you. We're going to pass on the auto parking. We're going to get ourselves some extra precise parking bonuses. Because we're cool like that. And because this should be a fairly simple... Uh, well, we'll see. Maybe it's lost bit, right? I do have to... Do this kind of really awkwardly. All right, so we're good. We're just uh, too far to the left. Let's go fix that. Okay, close enough. I don't know what's wrong with my transmission, but it makes really strange sounds. So we're going to have to check that out next time. See, we delivered the reservoir tank from Kiel to Ionia. And we made lots of dough. Ooh. And a whole level and a bit more. Oh, I can't complain about that. So next time we'll see, uh, we'll probably see you at the truck dealership. Pick up a new truck. I'm looking forward to that. Thanks for staying tuned.